Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial we're going to be hanging out in Photoshop and we're going to do some very simple adjustments to enhance black and white photos. So as you can see on screen I've got this photo and I've got this photo which I've, I've pulled both of those from unsplash.com which is an awesome free resource for stock photos if you're in need of any. Highly recommend that. Um, so in this one I'm going to show you some enhancements you can make to an already existing black and white photo and then in this one I'm going to show you some other tricks you can do when you're changing a color photo to be black and white that can enhance it that much further. This is a perfect tutorial if you're a beginner in Photoshop because we're walking through some really good adjustments that are non-destructive, meaning that once you apply it, you can go back and change those adjustments. If you do destructive editing, that means once you do it, you can't ever go back to the beginning. Um, so with this original black and white photo, obviously it's very beautiful, but we can do some tweaks to kind of make our darks a little darker and our lights a little lighter and just add a little bit of contrast to make it that much more interesting. So with pre-existing black and white photos, my recommendation is to hang out with your levels adjustments and your brightness and contrast adjustments. So the best way to do non-destructive editing is using adjustment layers, which over here you can see my adjustments panel. You can get to this by going window adjustments and they'll all pop open. And this one right here is our levels. And I always go to levels first because it gives you pretty dramatic results right away. And then I just, tweak a little bit with my brightness and contrast afterwards. So I'm going to hit my levels adjustment right here and once you do that you can see we get a layer right here that's levels and you have a black node right here and you have a white node right here. The further you slide your black node to the right the darker your darks will get and the further you slide your white node to the left the lighter your lights will get. So I'm just going to slide this a little bit and you can see it in real time how much darker my darks are getting. You don't want to go too far, um, but you want a nice healthy amount of contrast right here. My goal is to have some darks, some lights, and some in-betweens. I don't want to go too dark and I don't want to go so white that everything gets washed out. I still want some grays in here as well. So that's kind of what I'm looking for in this photo. And you can see what you've done by just hitting this little eyeball and you can toggle it on and off so you can kind of see the effect that our adjustment already has had on the photo. So if I slide my white now just a little bit, we're going to get a little bit lighter, but I still want to maintain some grays in here. So I'm paying particular attention to these little areas over here. Um, I just want a healthy dose of grays as well. So I can turn this on and off and that's looking really good. And if we want to add a little more tweakage to all of this. I can just hit this brightness and contrast. And when I do that, you can see another layer pops open right here and I can adjust my contrast. So I can just toggle it up just slightly. When you toggle your contrast slider right here, it's really easy for things to wash out and for you to lose the grays. So just be aware of that when you're moving your contrast slider. Um, so that's looking pretty good. And let's just brighten it up just a little bit, but we don't want to go too much because once you get to like this level, you're getting way too bright and you're washing out all of these pretty gray areas that are adding a little more detail to your photo. So just be aware of that. So I'm gonna bring this back down a little bit. We still want those grays. All right, so that's looking good. And once again, you can just toggle your eyeball on and off to see what you've done. And if I toggle both of these off, you can see this is our original photo and this is our enhanced photo much better. So those are my tips for enhancing pre-existing black and white photos. So we're going to hop over to a color photo now and you get a few more options with a color photo that you're turning black and white. So regularly you would just add a hue saturation adjustment and you desaturate your photo. So this is what it would look like. Um, I just want to give you a preview right here. So this is what it would normally look like when you do um, just a regular black and white conversion. But in this method, you're going to be able to do this which is pretty cool. You get a lot more depth where we're pulling out certain colors right here. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna delete these two and we're gonna start from scratch. So this is the original photo. And the first thing we're gonna do is hit this little icon right here for black and white over in our adjustments panel. And when you do that, you get this really cool panel that shows up. And this allows you to toggle how dark you would like different colors in the photo to appear. So it's gonna be a black and white photo, but if we want our reds to be dark, darker in here. Like if I turn off this little eyeball, you can see I've got a bunch of strawberries. So I've got a bunch of reds here and maybe I want my reds to come forward a little bit. I want them to be a little darker in the photograph to add that 
depth, just another layer of interest in the photo. So I can come over here to my red toggle and bring it all the way to the left. And you can see my strawberries are getting really dark in the photo. I don't want to go so dark that they lose their detail, but I do want them to be a little darker than they were originally. So another thing I do when I'm using this slider is I will come back here and I'll turn my eyeball on and off constantly to see what other colors I want to pull forward. Like this tray is this light blue, the cyan. So I want my cyan to be a little bit lighter because I want to bring some of the food pieces like the strawberries forward so I want these to be darker and I want my tray to be lighter and I even want this blue comforter right here to be a little bit darker so I kind of get an idea of what colors I'm working with as I go back and forth so I know my cyan I want to be a little bit lighter so I'm going to slide that up a little bit just to make the tray kind of pop so it draws attention to all the energy that's going on on the tray and then I'm going to take my blues and slide it a little closer to the left so I'm adding more focus to the tray by darkening up the surrounding areas, which was that dark blue. So you can see like that. And now we're getting a nice bit of enhancement going on. Let's see if we have any, we've got a few yellows here. So let's um, make those a little bit brighter since some of them are sitting on top of the strawberries. And let's see if we have any greens. We do have some tops of our strawberries over here. So we're going to look at those. And since our strawberries are going to be darker, we're going to make our greens just a little bit lighter. So that's looking good. I'm actually going to make my reds even a little bit darker. All right. So on top of this, now that we've kind of adjusted the different colors within the photograph, we can also introduce our levels adjustment and our brightness and contrast adjustment just to kind of finish everything off and add just a little bit more contrast to everything as a whole instead of the individual colors. So I can come over here and grab my levels and I can do the exact same thing we just did in the black and white photograph. I can toggle my dark slider to the right and some of these are getting a little too dark so I don't want to slide this one too much and then I'm going to slide my light colored one a little bit to the left I don't want to wash out my coffee right here I still want it to have the appearance of coffee so I want to keep that gray I don't want to make this one too white so that's actually looking really good and I don't think I need a brightness contrast let's see if contrast really does too much for us I don't think it does yeah, I don't need this one, so I'm just gonna slide that to the trash, and that's looking really good. So I wanna show you the comparison once more for a manually adjusted black and white conversion versus just a standard conversion. So I'm gonna group these adjustments together, and you can see when I toggle this on and off, this was the original photo, and this is my adjusted black and white photo. So I'm gonna turn off my manual adjusted black and white settings and I'm just going to apply just a standard desaturation so I'm just washing out all the color in one fell swoop so you can see the difference that this has you can see everything's kind of one tone all the way through whereas when we manually adjusted it we've got these really beautiful um, tonal qualities all the way through the photograph and we've got a lot more contrast and depth and interest happening with our photograph so those are different tips for enhancing black and white photographs depending on whether you begin with a black and white photograph or you're changing a color photograph to black and white in Photoshop. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe. I release a new design tutorial every single Tuesday. And don't forget to head on over to my blog, every-tuesday.com, for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next week.